Good morning, Faith Panthers. Today is Thursday, April 16th. Welcome to another day. Happy pre-Friday to you. Got a couple of school announcements. Uh, just a reminder that our pickup and drop-off of student materials is tomorrow morning from 8 a.m. to noon in the Commons. Look for an email from your child's teacher to see if uh, you indeed need to pick anything up or drop anything off. Uh, remember to maintain uh, physical distancing. Uh, use Clorox wipes that I have out and a hand sanitizer. And uh, if you're not comfortable uh, coming into the commons, uh, certainly reach out to your child's teacher for special arrangements. Uh, and just so you know, I had contacted the Fond du Lac Police Department before we had started this just to see if there was anything that I needed to know or if we were in violation of any directive. And we are not, um, just as long as we're not having any mass gatherings in the commons. So as long as you're in efficiently and out, I think you'll be okay. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Um, a while back, our school participated in a handwriting contest uh, through Zaner Blozer. That's something we do annually. And uh, students were selected uh, by each classroom as classroom winners or, or grade level winners. We then sent those grade level winners on to the state level. And uh, just recently, we received news that we had two state level entry winners. Um, congratulations to Addie Supernan in sixth grade and Emmeline Parsons in first grade. Uh, well done, ladies. Uh, they will be receiving a, a medal here in the coming weeks. Uh, we have no birthdays today. Uh, random facts of the day. Uh, number one uh, comes from Isabel Rosenthal. Did you know that your brain is made up of 60% fat? Uh, thus the reason for uh, encouragement to eat good healthy fats to maintain uh, good brain health. Uh, thank you, Izzy, for that. And number two comes from Baker Kaifenheim. Did you know that sometimes bees will sting mm -hmm. other bees? Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes bees will look to steal nectar from other hives. And if they try to enter another hive, uh, there are guard bees there. And they will sense that it is a bee from a different hive and actually sting them. Uh, thanks for that fact. Baker, uh, students continue to send in those random facts and we'll try to get them on air for you. Our devotion this morning is based on an entire chapter, uh, Hebrews chapter 11. We're not going to read the entire chapter this morning. Sometimes Hebrews chapter 11 is known as the Hall of Fame chapter. Uh, in it, there is a list of Old Testament believers uh, that were all uh, recognized uh, for something in their life. And it's all in common. And... Uh, the word or the phrase that we're going to focus on that they all have in common is simply two words, by faith. And I encourage you to, to read this Hall of Fame chapter to, to find out more details. But every single one of these individuals has the words by faith in front of them. By faith, Noah. By faith, Abraham. By faith, Moses. By faith, Joseph. By faith, Isaac. And so on and so forth. Uh, this morning, I brought in some of my old football and basketball cards. Um, I have here a Michael Jordan card. I have a rookie Shaquille O'Neal card. Uh, my favorite, a John Elway football card. And... A rookie Brett Favre card. Uh, Mrs. Miller, that one is for you. Uh, each of those individuals have received many accolades during their careers and have been awarded the highest possible award a professional athlete can receive, and that is induction into their respective Hall of Fames. And it's all based on their performance as a professional athlete. That's why they're in the Hall of Fame. And uh, they used their talents to, to their fullest and uh, demonstrated uh, maximum effort in, in all that they did, and they certainly earned that. Uh, but when it comes to you and I and our spiritual life, it's not about earning anything. That book of Hebrews doesn't talk about those individuals in the same way that a Hall of Fame would talk about an athlete. It doesn't say... Abraham is in this chapter because 
he was a good guy and did this and did that and did this. And uh, this person did this. It wasn't about their works. It was about those two words that I shared with you before, by faith. By faith. That was how they had value. By the faith that God put into their heart, which made them redeem children of God. Uh, children, teachers, parents, uh, remember that it is not by our accomplishments that we have our value. Our value is based on who God has made us. That faith that the Holy Spirit has worked into our hearts has made us redeemed children of God, and we are included uh, in that Hall of Fame list. No, you're not going to find your name in Hebrews chapter 11, but... Uh, the book of life in heaven has your name and my name in it, not because of anything that we do, any type of accomplishment, any type of um, success that we have on this side of eternity. It's all because of what God has done for us. And by faith, we have that gift of eternal life and that value of heaven is ours. Let's pray. Uh, dear Lord, uh, we thank you. We have a big sigh of relief. Uh, our value is not based on the things that we have to accomplish in this world. Instead, our value is based on, on the faith that you have put into our heart in making us redeemed children of God through Jesus. Thank you for making us valuable. Thank you for putting us in your Hall of Fame, your Book of Life in Heaven. We pray this in your name. Amen. Have a great day.